This is me getting ready for an infusion day. I had already been using Suzy Pad Cold Therapy to help with neuropathy during infusion days, but they reached out to me to try out their newer pack, which also includes a cold cap. And they have offered a 10% off code for anyone that needs Suzy Pad Cold Therapy. I will link that below as well as share the code here. But the pack comes with a set of mittens with cold packs. You have the bag to protect everything, and then you also have a pair of the socks with the cold pads. Both the mittens and the socks come with four ice packs each because you are going to have two ice packs in each glove and then two ice packs in each of the socks for your feet. What I like about these socks is the straps really help to keep your feet secure and make sure the cold is getting where it needs to. And then we have the cup. This is what I haven't tried yet, so I will be trying this at my infusion on Thursday. Both the cap as well as the mittens and the socks, they come with all of the instructions you need to properly care for the ice packs and use them. So it is at room temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the bag. The cap is a little different than the gloves and the socks because you actually put the whole cap in the freezer. Whereas with the socks, you're gonna put the ice packs in the freezer and I would recommend leaving the socks out. You're going to want the socks and the gloves, the liners at room temperature because I accidentally made the mistake one time of putting them in the freezer and they got kind of like frostbitten so then they were wet when I went to put them on. So leave the liners out the freezer and then just put the ice packs in the freezer. But for the cap, we're gonna put the whole thing in the bag in the freezer. So I've got it ready to go. The music you hear in the background is baby girl. She's sleeping over there. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer so that it's ready to go for Thursday. As you can see, I already have a ton of ice packs in here. So I've got my Suzy Pad ice packs. I had actually gotten another brand because I ordered some and then my mom ordered some. She got me the Suzy pads and those were the ones I actually liked more. I just, the other brand didn't work as well because of the way the liners were. So that's why you see a ton more of the Suzy pad ice packs because those were the ones that I ordered a replacement pack of ice pads so that I can interchange them because infusion day is so long, I have to change out the ice pads. So I got an extra pack of ice pads and I highly recommend making sure you have extra ice packs. So this is now going in with these. I did also do a glove, but again, these are far more recommended because the glove, I used it because I wanted to be able to use my phone and stuff and keep my fingers out, but but speaking of the glove versus the mitten, so Suzy Pad has the full mitten that covers your whole hand, whereas the little glove that I just showed you, I used that on my right hand the majority of my first infusion, thinking that the cold on my hand would stop the neuropathy from getting to my fingers, but that was not the case because, yes, I sliced my finger open. But I now have lingering numbness and tingling in my thumb and my pointer finger of my right hand. And it has been like that basically since my first infusion, which was almost two months ago at this point. Uh, whereas I don't have any lingering neuropathy in this hand and then my feet are doing great. Uh, no lingering neuropathy there either. And those were the, I had this hand and my feet fully covered with the Suzy Pad ice packs pretty much during the entirety of my infusion. I would take a break when I would go to take off the first pack once it kind of, once the cold was gone, I would take a little break and then I would basically put the new ice packs in and put them right back on. And that has really seemed to help. While yes, it's nice to have your fingers free to use and text, it's really not worth it. Uh, 
keep your hands covered with the mittens is what I would recommend if you're wanting to avoid any lingering neuropathy. So I'm just loading up my bag. I throw all my ice packs in here. I found that the ice packs, if you get like a HelloFresh delivery, those work really well because it stays cold the whole day and this doesn't melt, so it keeps those cold. The seven hours I'm at the infusion center. So I just get all of my ice packs, all my replacement ice packs. Pack them in here. And then this holds my mittens and my socks. So it keeps them from getting cold and wet in here. They stay dry in the front bucket. So ice packs and ice cap. And we are ready to go. I usually throw coconut water in as well because you know electrolytes so ready to go now that we are at the infusion center and my pre-meds are over it's time to go ahead and get the socks and mittens ready to go you just put the ice pack in the bottom of the sock there is also a spot on the top of the sock where you will put another ice pack and after you get those all situated and set up, you go ahead and just strap them onto your feet. With the mittens, the same thing, you will put the ice pack in both sides of one mitten. So there should be two ice packs per mitten. You want one on the top and then one on the bottom side. And you will slip them in get them ready to go and then you just slip them on your hands and again you will strap around your wrist to keep them secure and in place. It is a little bit easier to get the first mitten on and then you may need to ask for help to get the second mitten on but you can also do it on your own. It just takes a little bit of extra effort to get that second strap down. Now it is time to try the cold cap. You will take it out of the bag and basically just slip it on your head. I made sure it covered my eyebrows because they were still lingering and I am trying to keep them from falling out. Okay, let me, before I get the other So I've got the cap on and it is okay. cold, but it's good. It helps with scalp sensitivity, which you'll get if your hair follicles are falling out or you'll just get sensitive up there in general. It can help with headaches and it actually can also help with hair loss, but we didn't have the cap at that point but it is covering my eyebrows which i still have yeah, so i'm hoping that it will help are, keep my eyebrows in uh, and then that way i'll at least keep like those now that we are halfway through the infusion it is time to replace the ice packs also a trick for if your feet are just getting really cold i brought along two pairs of socks one pair I would use for my feet, the other pair I would put on my hands to go underneath the mittens. Your feet still stay cold, your hands still stay cold, the ice is still working. It just gives a little extra cushioning between the cold if you're feeling like your hands and feet are getting overly cold. So just a little trick I learned. But if your infusion days are long like mine were, you definitely want to have an extra replacement set of ice packs. So I'm now home. I'm back in my chemo port shirt because we're heading back to the hospital to get my pump taken off. And I just figured I'd share this because I would highly recommend getting a port shirt if you're going to be going through chemo because it makes it super easy to access your port. And it also keeps me from having to think about what I'm going to put on when I'm going for an infusion day, I just slip this on. It makes it super easy for the nurses to be able to access what they need and then I'm ready to go. But I wanted to share one more thing about the cold cap. So like I said, it helps with uh, scalp sensitivity, helps with headaches, and that's great. But it can also help with um, hair loss. So 
when we first went into the hospital, it was a rush and I had looked briefly into cold caffeine, but everything I saw was super expensive. I didn't see this package with the cold cap from Susie pad. Um, and so we also had heard it can sometimes work to prevent hair loss, sometimes doesn't. And just with the cost of what it was and trying to get everything underway, having the baby and then moving forward with chemo, we just decided not to do the cold capping. But if I had seen this package, since it's so reasonably priced, I would have given it a try. Um, you just put it on and the cold, similar to the way the uh, socks and the gloves work for the neuropathy, the cold capping is supposed to help with uh, hair loss. It can kind of trick your follicles into thinking, you know, they're frozen. So that's kind of the way it works. Um, so when I was doing it, my eyebrows have maintained, I lost my hair, but my eyebrows stayed in. So when I put my cap on, when I was in my last infusion, I made sure that the cap was down over my eyebrows so that it, they would hold in for a little while. This one was starting to kind of lose some hair. So I was trying my best to keep it there and it's worked so far. So I haven't lost any eyebrow hairs this round and this is my last round. So we are good to go. I will kind of continue to keep the uh, cap for the scalp sensitivity because the chemo is still in my system. So as it's working its way out, you know, I'll continue to lose more hair follicles and that's what kind of leads to the scalp sensitivity I have. It just kind of feels like you want to like itch your head and kind of like I feel myself trying to like pull out follicles, which don't do that, but this helps with the sensitivity. And so I'll keep this and use it over the next, the chemo kind of stays in my system for about 21 days at a therapeutic level. So I'll continue to use that over the next few days as we get rid of the last bits of chemo in me. Um, but my mom is actually going to borrow the uh, gloves and the socks for her arthritis to try those because the Susie pads can work for all kinds of different things. Uh, you know, if you need some help with arthritis, but definitely for the neuropathy, those were huge and crucial. Like I said, uh, I would highly recommend doing the full mittens so that you don't end up with lingering numbness and tingling in these fingers by trying to use a glove so that you can text. Texting isn't that important. Having your fingers feel normal is. <laughs> so I call them my penguin hands because, you know, penguin hands, but penguin hands for the win. Highly recommend Susie Pad. They have been very helpful during this whole journey and process. And this thing, this hand, which is the hand I continued to keep gloved the entire time is perfectly fine. No neuropathy issues there. So ping one up. So like I said, I had already been using the Susie pads, the socks, as well as the mittens. I just didn't have the cold cap, but uh, Susie pad actually reached out to me to ask if I would try out the cap and share my thoughts and reviews, which I was actually already planning to do, but um, they also offered a code for anybody that needs cold packs uh, to help with either neuropathy or whatever uh, your chemo issues may be, or maybe you have arthritis. They have extended a code to use on Amazon um, that will give you 10% off any of your Suzy Pad purchases. So. It is Sue's Melanie, and I will make sure to put it down below so you can easily uh, type it in, but it's S-U-Z-M-E-L-A-N-I-E, and I will also make sure I link everything below in the description, both this pack that comes with the cold cap and the mittens and socks, as well as any reusable inserts, which I highly recommend getting if you're going to have long infusion days. So. What I did is I packed my cooler, which I showed you at the beginning of the video, and then I replaced the inserts uh, halfway through my infusion because the beginning of my infusion is just pre-med, so I don't need the cold therapy then. That lasts about an hour and a half to two hours, and then my actual chemo infusion lasts about three to four hours. And so I would keep the ice in for about the first hour and then 
change them out um, halfway through. And that usually lasted me the entire infusion of my chemo. And it was still cold. The ice packs stay cold as long as you need them. If you need a little break, give yourself a break. And like I said, sometimes I would put socks both in to line these socks and my hands just if I got really cold. But you don't have to do that. It's just an option. And it was one that worked for me. And it's still, everything still stayed cold. So my, even with the socks, things were still cold. But I really do recommend Suzy Pad Cold Therapy Relief for any of your chemo issues or really anything that you need cold therapy for. Like I said, I had also had a different brand that I had initially got along with the Suzy pads because my mom had gotten these, but I just, I did like these better because of the way they kind of secure to your feet and your hands. It felt tighter. I, it felt colder. And so these were the ones I was consistently using, uh, even before they reached out, um, if you are going through chemotherapy, just know that my thoughts are with you. Um, but these really helped me and hopefully they'll help you as well. I will also include them in my storefront with all of the other essentials that kind of helped me throughout this journey and this process. And mm -hmm. it's never something you wish for anyone. And I wish, you know, I didn't have to use them and that you didn't have to use them, but they are good to have when they're needed. And so I'm just grateful that I don't really have any lingering neuropathy other than these two guys. But that's it. Um, thank you for watching and continuing to support and send love along this journey. All the best to you. Bye.